There you are, YouTube. Doo 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 doo. Subscribe. <laughs> All righty, your turn. What are we watching? October 18th. The Wicker Man. All right, the original 1973 version. I've never seen that one. How? A first time watch. How? How? Nice little fall meal as we watch the film. What is this? What kind of soup? Lentil? Yeah. Potato? Lentil vegetable. Lentil vegetable? And toast. Sourdough. Have you ever seen this before? Never. We just finished watching The Wicker Man from 1973. Mm -hmm. Tracy, what did you think? It was a first time watch for first both of us. First time watch, yeah. And I also don't know how similar it is to the newer Wicker Man, but I've never seen that and I don't know anything about it. So I went into this movie completely cold, which is one of my favorite things in the world. Oh yeah. And it paid off. It's one of my favorite movies I've ever seen now. <laughs> and it just ended, what, four minutes ago? Yeah, I loved it. I was like, the character, I thought I was ahead of the character. And I was. But that still didn't make me understand what was going to happen in the plot or the movie. Right. Like the movie was still several steps ahead of me. Yeah. Like I would realize something. And I'd be like, this detective's an idiot. He's not noticing this. While well, all the while, it is a trick they're playing on him, and therefore also playing on me. Right. You always know like something is afoot. Yeah. But... You're not trusting anybody. Right. They're all unreliable. Maybe not a full, a full grasp. Although you caught it early. I mean, ish. It, ish. it was like... A couple scenes. It was right before the reveal, yeah. but she had put all the pieces together. Yeah, yeah. Whereas I... I mean, I just started thinking, like, when I, I just started thinking, like, could this be? And then, right. it, and then it was revealed. Like, and then revealed. it happened, yeah. yeah. And it was kind of like, yeah, when you, like, noticed it, it was kind of like, oh my gosh, yeah, obviously that's what's yeah. going on. Um, yeah. Kind of like, I don't know, like, if we had all watched Sixth Sense and then someone, like, caught it early, mm. then you would be like, oh yeah, obviously. Right. But because you didn't. You know, right. you, you don't know until it happens. It's just even more satisfying to a, an older movie. Not only for it to trick you, because older movies can be more simplistic sometimes. Right. But for an older movie to have been in the zeitgeist, but you to not know anything about it. Yeah. So you get to experience it as if they would have experienced it back in the day. Right. Only difference being modern connotations or something right and i have i've i feel confident i saw the nicholas cage one but i must have just i don't know in one eye and out the other is that <laughs> how it works with movies and i just don't remember anything other than the All bees all we know is bees because of yeah, the memes, be, yeah, the memes. so yeah i just i don't know maybe i wasn't paying attention but this just felt so like like i'd never seen it like mm -hmm. the imagery didn't even look familiar to me. And it is amazing yeah. that this is a movie that I've heard about so much, but didn't know anything about, right. not even any of the imagery. Yeah. Um, it all felt very new. So yeah. that's kind of cool that a movie can, so popular and famous can still do that. Exactly. Maybe it's not popular. I don't know. What's the word? Would you say it's popular? It's just part of our yeah, culture. Yeah, the culture. It's... You just know it. Um, were you surprised by how much I liked it? No, it was seemed super fun. Mm -hmm. Like you called it like a Disney movie. Oh yeah, almost. It's or... like well, there's some there's uh, this has some spoilers. Yeah, I there... talk to the people as if they have seen it. Okay. Um, there was a lot of singing portions. Yeah. So it it was like. Yeah, I said it was as if Disney got a hold of True Detective, but back in the 70s, and then turned it into a bit of a musical. Right, and... It's, it got, it's got smatterings of, like, The Blob, or... Um, what else was I just thinking it reminded me of? What else were we talking about that it... Well, like, Disney-wise? I mean, it just, like, so many musicals from the 60s just sort yeah. of have, like, this look. They really did. So... They really 
when you see this like cinematic texture mm -hmm. paired with song automatically your mind goes to those you know 60s musicals yeah. so i don't know but it but it's very unique in here and then you're expecting like this horror movie mm -hmm. which i mean it still is but right different. very different than than you're expecting different different yeah. than anything you see today yeah it was slowly leading us down the path at the same rate as the protagonist, which was just really fun and interesting. Yeah. Kind of like Hereditary did, although very different tonally and... <laughs> Highly different tone. Scare-wise. Yeah. What did we compare this to? Midsummer? Yeah. What else? Midsummer for sure. There was another one. Was there? Yeah. Mm. Uh, well, one that we just watched. Yeah, oh yeah, American Werewolf in London. Yeah, the, the movie really open when it opens, it has a, an American Werewolf in London vibe to it. Oh, you know what I was thinking too? A little bit of Easy Rider. Oh yeah. It's kind of the imagery and it's kind of like, kind of like a, maybe a more straight edge character and then it kind of devolves as the weirdness around them devolves or yeah. whatever. I don't know. And the textures, you know, yeah. 60s and 70s yeah. all had that good, that good film look. I don't think I would be comparing it to Easy Rider were it not for the look. Right. Yeah. It was very good. I You just kind of watch it with a smile on your face in yeah. a weird way. Even the weird stuff and the passe stuff is all funny or interesting. Mm -hmm. And then after the reveal, you're like, oh, these people could be as weird as they wanted because they were trying to weird this guy out. It was all a part of their plan. Right. They could have fun with it. They could make him and us think what the hell and it did seem like they were having fun with it like i feel like we were supposed to laugh we were supposed to smile <laughs> yeah it wasn't like the movie's dated and right. our modern eyes think it's hilarious right it, but it was like meant to be that way exactly right yeah exactly but i mean there's no way right that you could watch a naked woman dancing around and pounding on the walls to try to get this man's attention in the other room right and slapping her own ass and stuff like that there was no way with like some bouncy kind of music or something right there's no way you'd be like mm, i'm taking this seriously right yeah you're meant to smile <laughs> and think it's a little silly <laughs> yeah yeah that's part of why the movie's so effective and it got me so good yeah that was great yeah good movie yeah you laughed there was some weird, odd, gross stuff. Mm -hmm. um, overall, very enjoyable. Yeah, I dig it. Yeah. Uh, anything else? I'm sure I'll think of it when I'm laying in bed later. Alrighty. <laughs> On that note, perhaps we'll see you tomorrow for more Peer Hangout. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> do 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 do. Subscribe.